Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about Falkor Bundle customization. So I am going to assume that you have already installed the Falkor Bundle, if you have not please watch the installation video and install it first. The video is going to be separated into a few sections. First I am going to show you how you can update design using section and module settings. Next I'm going to show you what it is and how to use master CSS file. Then I'm going to show you how to use developer tools and in the end we are going to cover uh, some potential issues you might encounter while updating design. So without any further ado let's get started. Let's start first with section and module settings and for that I'm going to enable Visual Builder. You may use Backend Editor as well. If you don't know how to use Visual Builder uh, with the Builder enabled you can simply hover over an element and then click Module Settings. When you click the Module Settings you will see three tabs content, design and advanced tab. Content tab is obviously for changing the content. In this particular module we can change the title. Let's say new title. Uh, and as you can see as you type the text is changed on the actual page. Also uh, in this example here we have button text but obviously we didn't add the button in this layout. You can also add some additional content and that text appears under the title. Also there is a link or URL option, background option and admin label. If you don't know what admin label is, it's basically the name of the module that only admins can see. Next tab is the design tab and this is the tab you are going to use the most. Uh, we want to go through all of these options right now. I'm just going to give you some brief overview uh, and show you a couple of these options and what they do. For example, if you toggle title text, you can change title text size. And, also, and again, you see that as you change the size, uh, it's actually changed on the page immediately. Uh, what else? For example, if you go to sizing, you can change the width of the uh, whole uh, module. And that's basically it, uh, but please go ahead and check all of these options and see what they do. It's different from module to module, but uh, you want to, uh, to get some general impression uh, what these options do. And that leaves us with the advanced tab and here first thing you can do is to assign a unique ID or a class name to the module. Uh, then you have custom CSS uh, and this is something that is most frequently used in the advanced tab. Uh, usually uh, you will find some CSS code here and what this CSS code is and what it does well, sometimes there is no options in Design tab for everything uh, we want to do with the particular module. So in Advanced tab we write some additional CSS to archive some uh, additional uh, style. And that's basically it. When you want to update a design first place where you should look is module settings and usually design tab. However, when there is no option uh, for what you want to change, next station is master CSS file. Let me first show you how you open master CSS file, then I'm going to explain you what it is and how to use it. To open master CSS file, go to settings. Uh, then Falker Assistant. Here you'll see this button that says Open Master CSS Changer File and 
as you click it, uh, all the CSS code will open in a new window. Copy everything and paste it in your text editor. I use Notepad++ as my text editor is a free and very great uh, text editing software that I highly recommend you. First thing you notice when you open this document is that it is really well commented. Uh, comments are the text in green that you see and the purpose of the comments is they serve you as instructions so you can know exactly where to look for when you're uh, searching for the, the specific CSS. For instance, uh, let's go back to the page. I loaded home page layout. Uh, for instance, if you would like to change the color of these lines, what you should look for is lines comment and that's the first comment here you can see. Uh, if you read it, it says background color for animated lines and if you want to change the color of these lines you can simply copy this CSS or actually let's just edit it first here I'm going to type green and then I'm going to copy this CSS go back to the page click edit page and inside page settings I want to paste this CSS so let's go to page settings and paste the CSS inside this custom CSS box. Click save and update the page. And now let's preview. And as you can see the lines have changed. And that's how master CSS file works. This file basically uh, holds some additional uh, design that you can't find in module settings. So when you want to update something and it isn't there in the module settings uh, look for it here, uh, read the comments so you can find where it is exactly, copy only that block of CSS where you made your changes, you don't have to copy everything, so just copy that piece of uh, the code where you made your changes, paste it back to the page and save and that's it. What if you want to make a certain design updates and you already looked in module settings and you also looked in master CSS file but you couldn't simply find uh, where and how to change that. Now I want to show you how you can uh, try to figure out how to change something using browsers developer tools options. I'm going to explain that to you more in details in a moment. Uh, for the start, press F12 on your keyboard to open developer tools. Something like this will pop up. Uh, as you can see on the screen, I'm using Mozilla Firefox. If you are using Chrome or any other browser, it should be pretty much the same. Uh, there are many great options here, uh, but I only want to show you one option here and that's the inspect element option. You want to look for this uh, arrow icon. It's really really similar in Chrome so you, sh you won't have problems finding it. And with this tool enabled when you hover over an element you can see that elements get uh, like you can see this selection over the element. And as soon as you press the element uh, a lot of useful stuff above the element appears here on the right uh, of this console. Uh, first thing you can see is the rules tab and all the CSS that applies to this element is uh, shown here. Let me for example select uh, this line here. What I can see is that it has the width of 100% uh, of course it's the 100% of this uh, column, not the whole page. Uh, but what's interesting to us here is this text in blue. It says Falker Headers CSS. That's the actual name of the CSS file. So this CSS code here is written inside Falker Header CSS file. So it tells us exactly the name of the file. And also there is the number and this number tells us on what line this CSS is written. So it's the Falker header CSS file 
on the line 244. So if you would like to change this CSS, you can go to this file and uh, you can find this CSS there. But let me tell you that it's not a very great practice to edit directly these uh, plugin files. The reason for that is that with each plugin update you will lose your changes. Instead, copy this CSS and paste it back uh, in your page like we did earlier. So just copy the CSS, paste it back to your page and make the changes there. But not always you will see the CSS file name. Let me give you an example. If I select this text here, you will see for example this line height uh, property with the 122% value and it says inline. And what inline is, uh, it tells us that this CSS isn't written in any CSS file, instead it's somewhere in the settings. So whenever you see inline, that means that this CSS is set somewhere in module settings. So either it's in the sum of the CSS file and you will know exactly uh, what that file is or it's somewhere in the settings and when that's the case it will show uh, this inline text here. And that's basically it. Sometimes after you make your design updates you can't see anything changed on your website. Reason for this could be a caching or code minification enabled. To deactivate the caching uh, first if you have some uh, caching plugins activated uh, please deactivate them. If you don't know, don't have any plugins, then you should go to DV and Theme Options. Here there are two places where we should uh, disable some of the options. First one is minify and combine uh, JavaScript files. Keep this disabled. Also minify and combine CSS files. Keep this option disabled as well. And other place where you should uh, disable options is static CSS file generation in the builder tab so keep this one disabled as well and after that go to the page and refresh it also make sure to clear the cache or hard refresh the page for that hold ctrl and press F5 on your keyboard and it will refresh the page or reload the page but with the caching uh, cleared and that's it for this tutorial, thanks for watching.